So we're starting off our Friday with some markers and some paint. These are little, it's like a little activity kit um, that her grandparents gave her. So she's working on that. And it is Friday, another beautiful day. I think we're due for some rain soon. So I gotta take advantage of these nice days while we have them. Uh, we don't have much on the agenda for the day. We do have movie night tonight and our uh, friends are hosting. So um, I don't have to make dinner. I'm gonna ask her if she wants me to bring a dessert though. Uh, I do need to make a grocery order and have groceries delivered. Uh, so I'll do that as soon as I'm done doing this, I'll do that. Um, but yeah, we're just kinda gonna take it easy today. Hopefully play outside a little bit and do some pre-K now. Um, and then gets groceries. Those are the main agendas for the day. That's a tricky one. Four. Four, and then you circle the four. So we're just outside now checking on our fig tree. We've gotten tons of figs, um, but it's still producing. These aren't quite ready. There's another one here. Not quite ready yet. We still maybe We'll get like 10 or 12 figs from this. Someone asked me about the fig tree, like what zone are we in and how does it survive over the winter? Um, it was here when we moved in, so we didn't do anything special to it. We don't cover it in the winter, um, we just kind of let it be. And we've been here three years. The first year we were here, we got a ton of figs. The second year we didn't, and we maybe got like three. And then this year we've easily gotten like a couple dozen. So. I don't know, we're in New Jersey. Uh, I guess it, there's like hundreds, maybe thousands of different kinds of figs. I know that because my brother like propagates them. He's a landscaper, so he's super into figs and plants and stuff. Uh, so I know there's tons of different kinds of figs. I have no idea what ours is, um, but it's just fun. It's just fun to have something growing that we can eat. It means and it's a different kind. If it has a different leaf? Mm -hmm. The different. Oh, she said the different shaped leaves tell you what kind of fig it is, so. It's just fun, I mean, we don't do anything to, we like, we'll thin it out and we'll pluck off the top leaves so that more like sun and nutrients go down to the fruit, but we don't do much more than that. So we're picking some flowers over here. We got lots of wild daisies, some goldenrod, some of these purple ones. Go ahead, pick the goldenrod. Um, we also have like a lot of dried grasses back here. We have some daisies, yep. These ones that are just like the the center of a, a flower. But it's just lovely to be out here. It's gorgeous today. It's goldenrod, thank you. We also just saw our neighbors, this is their for their fence. They had a really big pumpkin growing on that side. But we just noticed right here, there's one that poked through growing on our side. So we gotta leave it alone and see if it'll grow bigger. I mean, it seems pretty late in the season. Go for a little walk in the woods. The trees are just starting to turn. It's just lovely. Kids are having hot dogs for lunch, and I did order groceries. They're actually being shopped right now. Just the beauty of Instacart. I can see when they're shopping, and if there's any like refunds or exchanges, I can approve them or suggest something else. It's just so convenient. I am a yearly subscriber, so I get free delivery, and on any order that's 35 or more. So it's super helpful. I think it's totally worth it. The convenience, the time savings, like, I can do other things at home or go places and not have to spend that time at the grocery store. To me, it's worth it. We do order groceries every two weeks and it basically, like it it, it made sense. Like it, it paid for itself and then anytime I need those random few things in between the two weeks, if it's over $35 or you know just at 35, I can just have those delivered too and I don't have to go and like impulse shop. So I think it's worth it. I get what I need and I don't, you know, I don't bring kids and then they see a million things they want and then you wind up spending way more money. So that, it just works for us in this season of life. 
so that's what we do so wait waiting on those it'll probably come um, after we get back from school pickup okay so here's how the fridge is looking before it is tumbleweeds in here pretty much nothing left which is kind of how I like it I want to eat through all the food we have before we restock so I just wiped down the shelves I took these two out and washed them in the sink because something had spilled on them so all I really have in here is that beef from yesterday a couple of drinks and bread things one apple just a few veggies and this is like cheeses and I have one avocado left um, there's a couple things back there but groceries should be here in a little bit and we'll fill this up okay groceries are here we're just kind of un unbagging now um, just kind of give you an overview of what we got this is the only annoying thing that I've found that happens repeatedly you can either buy bananas and some other things by the individual count or by the pound and either I always do it wrong or they misread it I don't know but I wanted two pounds of bananas and they gave me two bananas so that very well could have been my mistake and you know it is what it is um, we got lots of milks heavy cream and then we'll take everything out of those bags and put it away all right so here's some more dry things two things of bread two different kinds of hamburger buns tortillas applesauce some marinara some coconut milk honey vanilla extract a cantaloupe this is two whole chickens that we don't have room for in our freezer so i'm going to put them out in the garage and then here we have a bunch of dry things, animal crackers, Cheez-Its, these fruit things, just mostly like uh, school lunch stuff. Some cereal, uh, goldfish, veggie chips, croissants, pasta, uh, coffee. These little trail mix packs are nice for school and some brownie mix, which we may or may not make for tonight. We might make something brownie else. Brownie mix. Oh, yeah, two brownie mixes I got, just to have another one on hand for impromptu get-togethers. I also got potatoes, red potatoes, and onions, which we keep in this um, metal bread drawer. This came with our house, and my husband's uh, co-worker pow powder coated it? Powder coat, I think that's what it's called. So it was, you know, just like old metal, and he kind of gives it like a, I forget, it's like a chemical process, and it re-metals the surface, and he made this little thing black and that's where we keep our potatoes and onions we've never had a problem with it i know some people think that you shouldn't mix potatoes and onions we've done it forever you know we've been married 14 years we've always done it and i guess we just eat them fast enough that it's never been an issue and then here's how the fridge is looking much more full so starting at the bottom Ooh, strawberry i got one of these salad kits some coleslaw string cheese lots of different kinds of cheese yogurts um, some lunch meat, things like that. We got lots of fruit in here, plums and apples. There's some uh, mandarin oranges in the back. Some more yogurt, um, lots of milk, lots of iced coffee, lots of eggs, strawberries, blueberries. That's the beef that I'm gonna do something with. A um, few different kinds of peppers, some lettuce and celery, lemons that I use all the time. And then that's like a big family pack of chicken that I either need to portion it out and freeze it or do something with it. I'm not, I never quite know what our weekends are gonna look like, if we're gonna be cooking at home or not. Um, so, just have a few more bread things to finish up and then I freeze the extra loaves and then they're ready to go when we need them. Here's just some veggies, cilantro, stuff like that. So the girls are helping to put away the um, groceries we just got. And then Evie's working more on her fairy house outside. I don't know if maybe this weekend we'll be able to go and um, set it up in the park. If not, then maybe sometime next week. So it's been really cute. I'll have to show you what it looks like. My neighbor is mowing his grass, but hopefully you can hear me. Um, we added this to be kind of a roof on top of the fairy house. And then they've just made like little things to put inside. They had this metal that they added. I honestly don't even know what all these things are we have their little um, rope ladder off to the side. They're gonna still keep working on it and I'm gonna have to maybe look up some cute things to do with like acorns or something. We, we have a ton of acorns, so we'll see what else we can come up with. The thing is that they all have to be natural elements. You're not supposed to bring any like plastic or anything that can't decompose. 
that's like the ruling. So we have to like kind of think about how we can, you know, bring some personality and not have everything just be like brown, you know? So I'm trying to think of what we can do that's a little bit more creative. Okay, I preheated my oven, 325. I'm going to make, to bring tonight, these chocolate chip cookie bars. We just got some mini chocolate chips and it's all pretty um, standard ingredients. Let's see, flour, salt, baking soda, butter, brown sugar, sugar, egg, egg yolk, vanilla, and chocolate chips. And do it in like a pan, because it's just easier than doing individual. So 325, they take 23 minutes or so. But before I do that, I'm gonna empty the dishwasher and then refill it from all the, with all the dishes from uh, earlier today. Okay, cookie bars are done and Little guy is up from his nap much earlier than he usually is, so I'm gonna go sit with him for a little bit. All right, so I think I'm just gonna call it a vlog here. I wanna be able to edit this and have it scheduled to go up tomorrow because I know we're gonna be out later tonight and I don't wanna have to be doing it until midnight. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, definitely give them a thumbs up. It helps other people to see them. You know, YouTube's got their system. So if you enjoy them, please give it a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care guys, bye.